So when people are feeling disconnected and not close to themselves or their, the higher aspect of themselves, how do they increase that? How do they get closer or connect to their soul and to who they really are to work through you know, times of this nature? Well, you have to look at your linear participation as that. It's a participation in a linear moment. Your soul, through your body, participates in that. Your soul, however, is a bit elevated from that and a bit separate from that. And there's where you can find sort of the respite or the restful moment. Because the soul has created many lifetimes. Some of them really good, some of them not so good, some of them terrible, some of them absolutely fabulous. To take a moment every day and just be with your soul. Forget about the linear discourse of the day. Forget about anything that has occurred. And just take, and we'd say for a span of time, 15, 20 minutes where you shut your eyes and just commune with your soul who's had many experiences and perhaps may be able to guide you how to get out of the current situation or how to expand the current situation because it has experience with other lifetimes. So we'd say a separation from the daily grind, so to speak, 15, 20 minutes where you just commune with your soul. It means shutting out the daily linear, don't think about the things that are going on, just be with yourself. And in being with yourself, you can access the experience of the soul and perhaps maneuver your way out of a predicament or maneuver yourself into a more abundant space because your soul remembers everything and may be able to bring a scenario to the table that you might not have thought of because you're so encumbered by the drama of the moment. This would make for a beautiful moment Yeah. to reconnect and, like that. And many times in the linear, one can become overwhelmed with the drama created and there's nowhere to turn. That's what we say, connect back with your soul. It has vast experience in all of this. And it says, yeah, here's what you need to do. And it's probably so simple and so eloquent that you didn't think of it because it was so, you were so caught up in the drama of the moment. And your soul says, well, I had a life where you did this. And be able to connect that way. And it, and it just means separating for a moment or two. Turn off the day and hug your soul. And your soul will have the experience to say, ah, we did this once before. And we can get you out of this. Or we can at least guide you to get you out of this. So from moments of despair or lack of connection to moments of being very connected and euphoria very glorious, because, euphoric, and, right. And supported. Many times the worst part of being overwhelmed is the lack of support, the aloneness, the separation. What do I do? I, nobody's here to help me. I'm alone in this vast sea of difficulty. I'm despairing. And we say, stop separate, be very quiet, and embrace your soul. Your soul has much more experience than you as a linear being do. And may have already gone through this a time or two. And so, ah, it's so, simple. Trust us, it's simple. And you may come to a position of clarity that you might not have come to on your own. It's certainly all right to ask your soul to help. That's a great perspective. Thank as you. an investment in you. Yes. Your soul will never turn you down. Ever. And you're not alone. No. Well, thank you. You are welcome, my dear. This is always so enjoyable.